In this video, I want to show the functions of the IPS web configurator for Axis ACAP compatible cameras or encoders. First, open the camera's website. Click on Setup. Select Applications and then the application, for example, IPS Motion. Click on Configuration and click the Start button. First time you open the configuration of an application, the license agreement is displayed. Click on Accept to continue. The IPS web configurator is designed as a wizard. It guides you through the different steps of the configuration. The camera image is displayed in the working area where all the graphical configuration is done. Help text is displayed in the lower left window. Drawings in the lower right window illustrate the different steps. You may want to surveil different areas in different situations, for example during the day and at night. For this purpose you can use different profiles. To configure another profile, select it and perform all the configuration steps. To rename a profile, click on the Rename Profile button. To reset a profile to the default values, click on this button. Global parameters are specified once per camera. For details, refer to the manual available on the IPS Analytics website. In this section, the current state is displayed. Steps you have successfully passed through are marked by a green circle. As the last step, save the configuration to the camera. Then you may configure further profiles or close the browser tab. Now we are going to see how to configure IPS loitering detection. First, open the camera's website and click on Setup. Select Applications and IPS loitering. Then click on Configuration. To start, just click the respective button. Next, the object sizes have to be adjusted. This is performed in two steps. First, the object size in the foreground. Adapt it to match the size of a person standing at the front of the image as precisely as possible. Then, repeat the procedure for the size of a person standing at the rear of the image. Click on Next. Adapt the detection zone to cover the area to be monitored. For this purpose, you can move points, add or delete points. Select the desired function by clicking on the respective button and then perform the action. As an example, I show you how to add a point. Then I can further adapt the zone. Here we see the result of the graphical configuration. Web Configurator has automatically added a metadata zone over the whole image. It is displayed in green. You can adapt both of the zones as required. Click on Next. In IPS loitering detection, there are two parameters serving as alarm criteria the minimum length of stay in any zone and the minimum length of stay at the same place. To trigger an alarm, only one of these criteria has to be fulfilled. After activity in a scene has stopped, the activity recording continues until the activity switch off delay has elapsed. Click on Save to store the configuration to the camera and you are finished. Then there are three options to continue. Select the next profile, open the viewer or go back to the beginning of the current profile. Otherwise you may close the browser tab 
to quit the web configurator. 